Hello and welcome back to City Skyline. So first thing you're gonna notice is look, I'm not taking up any important area. You can see the the, the population right there. <laughs> Yay! Finally fixed that. I know you're all so proud of me. Last time we were expanding through America and we built an amazing hyperloop system to get everyone into the country. We're slowly building up the area, and there is so much free space, so much flat area. Everyone's like, why aren't you building up Europe? Let me show you the difference between America. See the flatness and how easy it is to build? Now let's take a look at Europe. Do you see the difference? Do you see it? <laughs> it's a slight difference when it comes to elevation. I mean, we can flatten out Europe, it'll just take a lot of effort. Poor Italy is just absolutely turned into a lion. This is so sad. Okay, well, the rest of the world's doing pretty well right now. We will fix this all once we... Well, once we're out of easy space to colonize, there's no reason to make things harder than we have to. Like, over here, it made sense to put a ton of stuff if it's flat. It's near the highway, it's just... Mmm... I should really build things so that I can tell where things are going to fall. Okay, so it looks like we have a meteor incoming, which is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, we should probably put this... We'll put it in... Canada. Canada. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Oh no! Our, our shipping lanes! Oh no, our boats! Our, oh! Whoa! Whoa! Holy moly! Yikes! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my tsunami! Coming from every direction! Oh boy! Yikes! Okay, it's not really doing that much damage, but that looks absolutely awesome. That was a bigger meteor. That could have been a huge problem. Oh, no. Oh, no. We do have a little bit of flooding. I don't think Ireland is going to do too well with that either. Yikes. Oh, not really. Not really. Flo oh, never mind. Yep. We do have flooding. I don't think I ever zoned. No, I did. They're just not moving in. Uh, America, are you gonna be okay with the impact from this? East Coast. Oh, it looks like something's wrong. Was the line broken by it? Oh, you know what? It's moving the, uh, sewage water the other way. So I guess that's interesting. Yikes. Well, that was scary. That was pretty spooky. Oh, no! Florida! Florida, no! Ah, you're becoming a swamp again. This is so sad. Well, it would appear that that meteor strike did no real damage, but it did kind of mess up our uh, lanes for sending people across. So let's figure out what exactly was broken. Oh, darn. It actually ripped right through the lanes. Yikes. Okay, well, that was actually really interesting. Are they gonna reconnect? Oh, it looks like they are. There we go, they're reconnecting. Is everything gonna fix itself? Great. It is fixing itself. Nice. Can you just fix yourself? Yeah! Woo! Everything's all repaired. Uh, all the boats were, like, held up, so now there's, like, 80 going out at once. Sadly, they're carrying, like, no one. You guys were saying this seemed like a certain triangle in history. I'd like to say that I specifically did not make it a triangle for that reason. <laughs> there is, it's, it's a Y, okay? It's not as bad. They're going by their own will. Look at them, they're so happy. To jump off this cliff into the boat. Oh boy. We should at the end of this series do like rising sea levels to see what the effect would be. The global warming. That would be kind of cool. Okay, so. 
Where are we going to expand now? Can we... Oh, we can buy the Midwest. Oh, yeah. This is going to be some real expansion now. Oh, man. This makes me very happy. There is a lot we can do. There is a lot we can do. Let's, let's build up a sort of framework for the entire country beforehand so that we have, like, a good traffic system, you know? We don't want this to be an absolute mess. Things get a little bit bumpy over here, so we're gonna smooth. We're gonna smooth it out. There we go. Smooth. And what that'll do is give us more abilities to place buildings and roads. Uh, yes, we're kind of killing famous landmarks, but that's okay. Everything comes at a price. It's the price of progress. Just, just smooth all of this out. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. So we can seriously look into moving into California and stuff now. Building up our IT infrastructure. And hit some major cities here. Go down into Mexico. Go through Texas. Come on! I don't want any bridges. I want this to be flat. There we go. And now if we go around here... Look how perfectly that went! That was beautiful. It, it does look slightly ugly if you look at it like this. But don't worry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that by putting more major roads. There we go. So now we've got many different ways that things can go. This should probably be lifted, shouldn't it? So roads can go under it. Yeah. That would have been a good idea. A good idea. Not a god idea. Not quite at that level. 12 meters should be plenty. And we just bring it across. I don't know, I may connect it here. Yeah, you know what, why not? We'll do that. Great. Fantastic. And now we can begin. We can begin expansion. Oh, I see a lot of fertile land we can build farms on. Or over here, we've got Mexico, which doesn't really have much, but we can figure something out. This is, this is Manifest Destiny right here. We're doing a fantastic job of that. We'll even put a little random roundabout in the middle. Because roundabouts... Of course, we need to make it a perfect circle or it'll trigger everyone. There we go. Is that even going the right way? You want right to be on the outside. And it should be one direction because it kind of kills the roundabout if it's not. There we go. Nice. Fantastic. And now we can have this connect over here. And then we can have this go under through here into this. And then we can have this go through. Then curve this way but also not make up its mind. So it also goes this way up here. But at the same time, it has no clue what it's doing, so it's going to just wrap under here and fly back to this road. I know, I'm making some interesting choices here in design, but I'm enjoying it. There's nothing better than just having a ton of space where you can just build a horribly inefficient traffic systems. It's my favorite thing to do in this game. You guys can probably tell. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. This is this is efficiency right here. Then we can have a bridge go under that bridge and that bridge and come around here. Oh, look at how beautiful this is. This is perfection right here. This is efficient use of space. 
and it looks it looks a little bit more natural than just a grid look see people are using it they like the roundabout okay fantastic we have built up the Midwest well basically all of America now Canada has a little bit more to go so now what we do is we start putting major things in one thing I want to put in is a massive football stadium because you know what America likes football and we need we need a sports team a global sports team I don't know who they're competing against but it's gonna be fantastic uh, what is this under it's under something other parks uh, or is that under what is that I think it's in our parks somewhere that's props zoo that 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 where are these sports things oh shoot is that under my oh it's under these it's under these okay here we go an absolutely massive stadium oh man this will take up so much room i could put it like right in between canada but i want it to be a little bit easier to access for the rest of the world so what about right here that's actually a perfect spot in Canada but that's about in the middle of the US and it's got very strong road infrastructure there to get around and I can connect it to the train system too okay and we're gonna redo the train system to be more efficient too because the train system currently is very inefficient so give me some time we're gonna get a lot of things fixed during this episode that I did poorly before okay there we go that's all set up and obviously around it we're just going to have an insane amount of tourism this is tourist area right here for sure I don't know what part of Canada this is. I'll Google that later. I'm not Canadian. I'm sorry. I knew where Quebec was, though, so I get some points there. Look at all the logging industry. It's really taking off. Huh. Maybe they'll get some budget cuts. Da -da get it? Because cutting down wood. I don't know. That was a terrible joke. It didn't even relate to what I was talking about. Okay. So... We're going to use, for now, one of the train lines. We'll have the other one do something at one point, but there's no real reason to use both right now. Uh, there we go. It'll just go underground. And then it'll go under here. And maybe it'll look a little bit cool and be a bit cheaper if we make it go back above ground here. And then we can just do this. There we go. How about that? Okay, except for the people who go through there because they will actually die. Uh, so let's make people not actually die. That is pretty steep because that is way too high for some reason. Okay, let's try this again. Take 72. Maybe not actually 72, but... Okay, you know what? That's not... That's pretty bad. But it's like just a little bit of a roller coaster, you know? We can use Move It to get it looking a little bit better, I'm sure. You just lower this down a tiny bit. Why can't I lower this part down? That's kind of annoying. Oh well, good enough. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn the train lines into an actual... Uh, circle instead of just going back and forth because going back and forth is super inefficient we're really uh, ruining the entire purpose of having a train line by doing that but the question is how is the circle gonna go I'm thinking it'll wrap around we're gonna need to make another part of the hyperloop it'll go around hit North Asia and then go to Africa and then America and go in a circle like that yeah, this is going to be really expensive once again. Uh, I can only imagine how much our maintenance costs on our rails right now. It's probably like 
half. Oh, we spend so much. 30. Oh my god, we spend 15,000 a week. Oh my, yikes. It's more expensive than the boats and the airplanes. Uh, yikes. Our rails are really expensive. Thankfully, our high tax rates managed to pay it off. Okay, uh, wonder if we can make a city that has zero tax. It only makes money off of its produce. But I think the produce is... Technically, the money is gotten through tax. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, if it didn't, like, break the world, that would have been cool. This is sad. I, I thought I had something cool going there. I wonder if I can do that without, like... Yes, it goes under it. That's so awesome. Okay, I like that. And then we're gonna do this. And I just bring it all the way across the world. And maybe we'll use it, we'll put something in Quebec or something. I mean, why not? Why is this? Oh, why did you do that? Probably because I told you to unknowingly. You know what, if you want to make a little bridge there, you go ahead and do that. That's actually kind of cool. I'm completely fine with that. There we go, look. That's kind of cool. It goes over the water, and then it goes in here. And now, why don't we, while we're at it... D-zone this and this. Zone this commercial because they don't care about noise. D-zone this and turn it to commercial. And then put a train thing here. Ba -da 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 -da. Don't worry, Quebec. You're going to like the train system. It's going to be great. It's going to get a lot of people over here. A lot of workers to work in the lumber, the lumber industry. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around like this. Uh, that's a little bit bumpy, but it works, I guess. And now this is going to go back underground. Not that steep. Holy mo- Oh, I guess it's a roller coaster. It's- f Oh, no, there's a hole in the world. I don't like the holes. It, it ruins the immersion. Okay, so what we'll do is we will uh, fix that. So all we have to do is, like, do this. Oh, that's that's pretty smooth. Oh, it still is all in the world. Never mind, I'll just ignore it. And then it goes underground. And now we just have to pull this way underground so that it doesn't interfere with anything. And now, super underground. This is going to be very expensive, but now we build all the way back. And thankfully, building rails this big is going to give us a lot of places to connect things in the future. Like, if we don't reuse this, we are wasting so much money. Okay, here we go. And finally, we bring it around here. And we bring it all the way back up to the surface, and we curve it around to here. Yeah, now we pause the game. And now we're gonna redo all of it. Let's go. I'm the train master. <laughs> Not really, because I just break everything and everyone hates me for it. All my subscribers and all the people in my city. It's so sad. Okay, so this goes here. Oh my god, I connected it to the wrong one. Ah, uh, That's like such a minor mistake to make. It's like it was almost perfect. Oh, they've even got metal there, so if you go down too fast, the train just hits the top. It won't derail. That's fantastic. Great engineering work there, team. Uh, you guys need a promotion. Okay, back to here. Okay, so... Start here, for some reason. I don't know. Go... Go that area. Go Quebec. 10 out of 10. 
Okay, now we go down here. Now whoosh, we go all the way over to Africa. Now whoosh, we go all the way over to Asia. And now, finally, even though that's going to be an impossible turn to make there. There we go. That's better. And now we finish the line. Bam! Nice. And now they can just go in one simple line. No more craziness. Even though that looks kind of broken there, but I trust it. Are you guys going to work properly? Yeah! Look at that! The global hyperloop is now going to be like 10 times more efficient. And now we make a second one going in the opposite direction, which means that the worst efficiency is going to be half the world. No matter what, you're only going to have to go half the world to get you to your uh, destination. You don't have to go in the full loop. Because you can just go the other way. Yeah, I know, half the world isn't super efficient, but... Giving everyone their own local stops and stuff would be extremely inefficient. We can do it in the future, I just don't want to do it right now. And like, transportation isn't that bad right now. It's not so much of a problem. Look at that, now we've got two lines going different directions. Hopefully that highly uh, accelerates the amount of people that are using the rails and it's going to get rid of all of the traffic. There will be no rail traffic anymore because nothing is intersecting. It's just going straight. The only issue will be trains going at different speeds, but I can't really control that. I could just ban all slow trains. Uh, do I have that mod installed? No, I don't. Sad. <laughs> oh, look at that. They're so happy. They're just going along. Going along. Hopefully the public transportation is uh, getting a good amount of people. We've got more people coming by boat than by train. However, I think that's going to change because of the new improvements. There are a lot of boats, though. You know what we can do? We could increase train funding. Actually, there's a policy for this. Where is that free public transport and prefer ferries? Nice. So both of those together are going to really increase. It's going to really hurt our budget, but it's going to really increase the amount of people using it. And then we're going to make tickets super cheap. We're going to give our color the only correct color, which is blue. And we're going to hope that we win some games, because now we have an awesome sports precinct. Whoa, you can do it. And now we can... I'll build a little office zone over here, because usually these are in the middle of, like, a nice city. You can build, build a little bit of city over here. There we go. Fantastic. Great. Local businesses are so happy. They can hear the fans cheering. It really helps them with their work. <laughs> Ah, uh, very nice. I'm very happy with this. We are really building up. And now we can begin building so much farmland. That's going to be beautiful. There's going to be some good farmland over here. I don't know what I'm going to call this. Uh... Central America isn't the right name since Central America is actually already an area. I don't know. I'm going to call it West Midwest. Because it's like West of Midwest, but it's not quite the West Coast. So there we go. Fantastic. Actually, we'll name it Manifest Destiny. There we go. We've got some Manifest Destiny going on over here. And this is all, all this is going to be focused on farmland. They're going to make so much food for our people. It's going to be fantastic. And you know what? They'll have organic produce. They're going to just be really into that agri ah, ah, 
Alg agriculture. There we go. I can speak. Okay, we've got this entire area in here, right? I just want to make sure. Ah, uh, we're missing some. I think we have to push the Midwest east. So that I get a little bit more. We'll start at this road. That's where we'll start the farms. There we go. There we go. This is going to be fantastic. Farmland. Oh, wait. No, this is... This is something completely separate. That's Texas over here. Texas is going to be a little bit bigger than uh, it actually is, but there's oil over there, so we have to take advantage of that. Let's actually build out from the roundabout. Let's start letting the farms spring up. It's going to be nice. Some nice farmland. And we have a lot of industrial demand, so they should move in rather quickly. If we give them water, that's that's one thing they do need, especially for farmland. Uh, water is pretty important. We have a worker shortage in America now. I, I said that was going to happen. There's just so much population in uh, Asia. And there's not many jobs there, so we need to... We need to get more people over into America because we are having job shortages all over the place. The unemployment rate is so low. It's almost like real life. Oh, wow, look. 525 serviced. Oh, the number is going so high. Nice. How many people are using Quebec? Oh, yeah. A lot of people. It looks like the worldwide transit system, the train part, is actually doing fantastic. Nice. And it looks like the pollution problem is slowly going away. It's kind of dissipated from all the different disasters hitting. Great, that makes me extremely happy. And we've built up so much here that we can zone and improve upon. We've got our massive sports precinct. Looking good. Looking pretty darn good. And we're gonna give free public transport on match days, match security. We're not going to do subsidized, uh, subsidized youth. I'm not giving people money. That's ridiculous. That's going too far. The government is responsible until it becomes expensive. Then it's just too far. Okay, let's see how the public transport is doing. Yep, rails have taken the lead. As predicted, things are going so well. We've got so many areas making all the supplies we need. Uh, no major disasters this episode. I mean, that meteor was pretty spooky, but... Look at that. You can actually see the crater through the water. That's pretty crazy. Just a reminder of what could happen. I mean, if that had hit, like, America or Africa or Asia or anywhere, really, that could have been really bad. But it hit in the middle of the ocean. So... Time to get some vibranium from it. <laughs> uh, well, guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. We have expanded west, but it's time to wait until people actually start putting their buildings there. But with that, I say bye. I hope you guys are enjoying this series because I sure am. It's kind of cool seeing the world build up over time. And uh, who knows? Maybe we'll have a bit of a challenge at some point. <laughs> What? Why? I, I would never, I would never make a series challenging. I would never do that.